Welcome to the Tourism Reality TV Show, The Livingston Tour. Tonight, on the Livingston Tour, we take you into the action and fun of Zambia's tourism industry. In this episode, we visit the Livingston Museum. As you can see, we are about to take a tour of duty inside. Now, this is my village, so I'm welcoming you to my village, so let's go. Yes. So that's the story of David Livingston and the museum is named after him, our town is named after him. We're at Independence, most of the t towns with foreign names, the names were changed to local names, but Livingston kept its name. Visit www.tourismrealityshow.com The Livingston Museum is in the tourism capital of Zambia, Livingston. Livingston is a town bordering Zambia and Zimbabwe. It is the only city that did not change its colonial name at independence in 1964. The Livingston Museum is located just 10 kilometers from the Victoria Falls, one of only seven natural wonders of the world. This is the oldest and largest museum in Zambia, established way back in 1934 and named after the famous medical missionary, Dr. David Livingstone. Our team of contestants visited the Livingston Museum and blogged about their experiences on www.tourismrealityshow.com. Hello Zambia, hello world. My name is Velela Pilungu. I'm from Lusaka. When I hear Livingston, I think the Great Victoria Falls, white water rafting, bungee jumping, rich culture, great hospitality. And guess what? With the Livingston tour, I get to experience that. But even better, a chance to win a cool 10,000 US dollars. I mean, what more can I say? Stay tuned and be inspired to come to Livingston. You will not be disappointed. everyone we're now at the Livingston Museum what we're expecting to see is some history culture art and all that I mean just like we have the chipmunk aircraft here that's what we expect to see right here in the museum hello everyone my name is Moses Mulenga and I'm a contestant in the tourism reality show here in Livingston, home of the Victoria Falls. And I'm here to, to use Livingston as a launch pad to increase the number of tourist arrivals in Zambia. And I'm looking forward to winning because I'm excited about this whole show. You can see we are about to take a tour of duty inside there and um, I don't know what to expect exactly but I, I guess there's a lot of rich uh, information and culture.
Hey, good morning, everyone. Morning. Welcome to Livingston Museum. Uh, Livingston Museum is one of our national museums. It's the largest and the oldest museum in Zambia. And we have a variety of different things in this museum. So I hope you enjoy your tour and you'll see lots of different things. The Livingston Museum is a memorabilia of Zambia's historical events documented graphically and in writing. The museum houses different galleries that cover archaeology, ethnography, etiology, natural history and entomology among others. The artifacts and exhibitions deliver an insight into the national history and ethnic heritage of Zambia. Visiting the Livingston Museum should be on every family's bucket list. So we look at man's history from the point of origin and the uh, different developmental stages that man has gone through up to at least the 21st century, so that long. The concept of our village is basically to show our identity, who we are and where we come from. So we want to go in and showcase our village. So now this is my village, so I'm welcoming you to my village. So let's go. Yes. And then in the village, you find uh, a dis distinction in terms of roles that are played by males and females. So mostly females will be found in the kitchen, as you can see there, and then they would actually be the ones to take care of the young as well as uh, prepare the food for like gr grinding the maize using the mortar there. And then also the men will be on their own, maybe near the, the huts, uh, doing things that were considered to be manly, like maybe he's uh, t working on his bike. Georgina and Color wrote, Going into a museum is like going to unknown land to discover treasures. Not only can you learn so much from visiting a museum, it's extremely fun. Hi, I'm Georgina. You can call me Kai. I'm an outdoor enthusiast who's super excited to be in Livingston. Now what you're gonna do for me right now is you're gonna follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. My name is Georgina Kayanankaler, and you'll be able to find me on those platforms. Your like counts as a vote to make me your tourist ambassador. Baby Shangozi wrote, When you visit this place, you can see the remains of the royal barriers, the few tools that people used in the past for both hunting and fishing. My name is Baby Shangozi, aka Fisher. I'll be marketing Livingstone's touristic sites. Guys, I need your likes on all my posts on social media, be it Facebook, Instagram, as well as Twitter. Your likes will help me gain more points as well as votes for me to be able to, to grab the 10,000 US dollar grand prize. Various galleries in the Livingston Museum all tell a story of where we are coming from. History is important because it allows us to understand our past and appreciate the roots of our culture. This is the very essence of the Livingston Museum. There are various sections of the museum including a natural environment gallery showcasing various aspects of the environment, forests, animal life, insects, amphibians, reptiles and so on. Sets of flies and uh, some insects which eat our crops and then the beneficial ones, there's some like bees which help with pollination 
and uh, some which we can eat, like all these ones people eat. So they provide a source of food. So these are snakes, lizards, we'll look at them. So this is an example of a bird which can eat, which eats snakes, the battler eagle. So you can see a snake hiding over there, hoping it won't be eaten. So we have many different types of snakes in Zambia. This one is the black mamba here. Namutenga Kalunga wrote, I learned from the museum that the flap-necked chameleon lays eggs by digging a hole in the ground. And other types of chameleon lay eggs on leaves or tree branches. These pieces of information were so eye-opening. Chameleon, tell me even that it just drops down and gives and birth. Gives birth. <laughs> no, but that's, that's what it does. No? No, that's what it does. What do you even, mean then? With chameleons, there's a... There's a strong belief about chameleons that they give birth by falling out of a tree and then yeah. bursting open. Yeah. It's not true. <laughs> this type of chameleon, which is common in Zambia, it lays eggs in a hole in the ground. Hello everybody, my name is Namtenga Kalunga and I'm one of the contestants in the tourism reality show Hashtag The Livingston Tour. I'm from Chingola and to be part of this extraordinary thing happening, momentous thing happening in Livingston, the first ever in Zambia. Oh my god, I'm so excited you guys. Mm, you don't know what that means. Um, winning 10,000 US dollars, that would change my life. And from now on you'll get to see more of me and how I market Zambia. Livingston as the tourism capital with its many beautiful, wonderful scenes. Watch this space. We can't survive without a natural environment. So the people living in this village need firewood, they need food, they need uh, um, food in terms of plants, food in terms of animals, they need medicines. So all of these they get from the natural environment. So in the past, there were many systems in place uh, which worked to protect the environment. So through um, traditional value systems, uh, folklore, taboos, beliefs, people had ways of protecting the environment. And that was very important because they knew they needed it. But we'll see as we go through that in, over time this has changed. And that uh, now a lot of the, those traditional values are being lost and people are not protecting the environment the way they should. Iris Kaingu wrote, once we visited the Livingston Museum, I was touched at the rate of deforestation in Zambia. Zambia is ranked among the top countries with the fastest rates of deforestation. We had a chance to see like our heritage come to life, literally come to life. Old bones, uh, like the skeletons, old tools from the Stone Age to the Iron Age to like civilization up to now this point where we're at. We got to see animals and I got a very deep understanding that our environment is just not because you see most human beings are so oblivious to the fact that we exist in an environment and then um, we we just kill cockroaches and flies and all of these things but she told us like you know what they are all and very important um, aspects in our environment and you need to be more aware one word dollars <laughs> Hi, my name is Iris Kaingu and we are on the Livingston Tour Zambia Reality TV Show. Two weeks, 12 contestants, $10,000. You guys have to vote for me because obviously I'm going to showcase what Livingston has to offer. It will be both fun and educational. So stay tuned and God bless.
Hello there, my name is Viola and I am part of the contestants for the Livingstone Tour. I'm very excited to be here and to be a part of this great reality show. Mainly because obviously I want to sell Livingston to the world out there so that people know how beautiful this place is. And secondly, of course I want to get my hands on that money. I've got a lot of dreams, a lot of dreams and that money is just going to help me achieve them. Okay, so this is the David Livingston Gallery. Our museum was named after David Livingston. The town was named after David Livingston. So this was a very important man. Um, so we see him here. Um, and this gallery talks about David Livingston's life and what he did. And it's very important for Zambia. We wonder why a foreigner is very important for our museum. Because we've talked all about Zambia so far. But David Livingston did a lot of explorations within Zambia. Clive Lukulo wrote, it was great to visit the David Livingston Gallery and view original letters written by the missionary himself. Hello world, my name is Clive Lukulo from Livingston, Zambia. I'm one of the final contestants of the Livingston Tour Tourism Reality Show. I will use my social uh, media skills to showcase what Zambia has to offer to the world. Help me win the 10,000 US dollars up for grabs by liking my page and sharing. Uh, my available platforms are on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Visit www.tourismrealityshow.com In these cabinets, there's letters. These are original letters. Some of the letters people wrote to him, I've got, but most of these are the letters he wrote to other people. And so then they were given to museums around the world. And these are some of these letters. And I even read the letters that oh. Dr. Livingstone was, was writing. Yeah, I didn't remember anything. Yeah, but the, there the were handwriting. some words I could see and some words I couldn't see. And the, how was the handwriting? Like the handwriting? He was writing like a very typical doctor because you really can't see what he's writing. Like, you know but how you, you go in the pharmacy and, and you know the doctor gives you like a prescription, a prescription? and, and then only you, the can't, you can't see, can you know? Read? Yes, that has some things you can probably see there and then you go like. Uh, and some days, some days, some days were clear. This you can oh. yeah. tell these papers. But there are a lot of letters, and then even the books that they used to send from his home to him. Mm. Yeah. My name's uh, Frank Sinyangwe, and I'm here in Livingston for the tourism reality TV show. Besides the money, I get to become Zambia's tourism ambassador, which is a big, huge thing. So please, vote for me. Peace. Hi everyone. My name is Jeff Mwapi. Have you heard about the Livingstone Tour? Well, guess what? I'm one of the contestants in this 2018 Tourism Reality Show. I'm going to market this uh, Livingstone in terms of tourism, both local and international, using uh, social media and TV. And also, I'm looking forward to win the 10,000 which is involved in this reality show. Watch this space.
on his last journey, when he was traveling further north, at some point his medicines got stolen. So after that, each time he got sick, he couldn't be treated. And eventually he got malaria and he died. So two of his close friends, Chumi and Susa, got, they, they removed the in, inner parts of the body and they buried them where he was there. And they carried the, the, they sort of treated the body, they embalmed it, and they carried it all the way to the coast. So then a ship picked it up and took it back to UK. And he was buried in Westminster Abbey and two of his friends attended the, the funeral. Chumi and Susie are, Susie are quite famous, but there was also Jacob and Matthew were two others. Um, I think those ones are the ones who attended the funeral, if I'm right. So, of course, he made friends with a lot of local people, and um, there were various people that he used, he used as porters to carry, but if you've traveled with someone on foot for months and months, you obviously become close. Um, in terms of achievements, he had aims for every journey. On one of them, he wanted to find a route from the west coast. He decided it wasn't good. Another one, he wanted to find if the Zambezi was navigable. He wanted to find the source of the Nile. So he had various aims there. A lot of them he didn't achieve, but he did achieve some. He also wanted to end the slave trade. In his lifetime, he didn't manage to end it, but soon after, it did end. So that's the story of David Livingstone. And uh, as I said, the museum is named after him. Our town is named after him. We're at Independence, most of the t towns with foreign names, the names were changed to local names. But Livingston kept its name because we know he's a very important person for Zambia. So it's the only town in Zambia which kept its uh, non-Zambian name because we recognize Livingston as an important person in our history. Okay. Visit www.tourismrealityshow.com